Hey guys, so week one of book writing is coming to an end. For those of you that don't know, over this month, I've taken on the goal of finishing my Act of Kindness book. I don't know the title yet. I'm going to figure that out still. And it's really been a crazy process. This is something I've never, ever done before in my life. And it's forced me to take a step back from doing all the day-to-day -day things from life as inside and really focusing my attention and, and, and getting to writing. Uh, which is not so easy because so many, so many obstacles and procrastination and excuses and all kinds of things come in the way of, you know, uh, making you actually get the task done. But what I wanted to share with you, first of all, some of the great obstacles I've had, some of the great successes I've had, but more than anything, the purpose of this video is really, so many people have been reaching out to me over this week and I know I haven't been able to get to, you know, everybody's uh, questions. But so many people are reaching out to me and saying, wow, I've always wanted to write a book or I've had this book that I wanted to write for the longest time or I've been wanting to do this, but it's so hard to get started. And, you know, it made me start thinking about that, that whole concept of being able to accomplish a dream that you have for yourself and the things that it takes. A couple of years ago, I was involved in something really amazing. It was called Mastermind. I'll never forget my Mastermind group. They were the most amazing people ever. And the amount that I accomplished uh, and the goals that I set for myself and things I did within that time period were truly amazing. And so I said to myself, if I'm going to take on this huge, crazy task of finishing this book, I need to get myself back into that mastermind. And so myself with a friend of mine, we started our own little mastermind group in which, you know, I have, I have my, all my notes over, all my notes over here of what I'm doing with my goal. Um, the fact that I'm the possibility this month of determination and my mantra is success begins with a fellow's will. It's all in a state of mind. My goal is obviously to finish writing the act of kindness book from a, from a place of, you know, of gratitude, of love and of strength. And so what I've done to help me accomplish this goal and keep me on task, because this is something that really prevents so many of us from being able to stay on task is I've actually listed for myself. And this is something I learned from my mastermind. So I'm not taking credit for it. You know, the 20 reasons why I want to achieve my goal, the 20 reasons why my goal is achievable and the 10 things I'm willing to give up in order to get there, and the conditions I've put into place to ensure that I'm going to be able to reach that goal. I read this every single morning. I read it every single night and it keeps me focused and it keeps me on target and it reminds me why it is I'm doing what I'm doing. Because so often we can, we're so fearful that we're going to fail at getting something done. You know, it seems like such a big, big task. How am I possibly gonna do this? But really the key is really the mantra I say to myself, success begins with a fellow's will. It's all in a state of mind. You have to really truly believe that you can. You have to believe in yourself. That's like such an important thing. And I'm finding myself even struggling with that. It's something that everybody struggles with. Nobody's like, yeah, I'm all good in that, in that department. We always, uh, you know, come to struggles in that regard. But this has definitely been a very, very exciting week for me. And I even, even created like, I have like a, you know, a goal list every day that I have to look at and check things off my list. And it's been a very freeing experience, a very rewarding experience, and I'm excited to see where it's going to go. There have been days where the words were flowing from me, and there have been days, a couple of days where it's been really, really tough. Uh, and I know that that's what it's going to be like, but it's all about being determined and, and, and continuing to push forward. So if you're out there and you have a dream of accomplishing something, and it's something that you really want, and I know this is not so easy. This took, you know, before this week started a book writing, I'd spent a good week or two just doing the pre-production work for this, getting myself in, in the state of mind to be able to, to tackle this, writing down these milestones for myself of what is going to be accomplished every week and what days I'm going to accomplish and how much time it's going to take me to do each of the things. But if you have a goal, if you want to accomplish something for yourself, I just want to say to you, the first step is you have to believe that you can do it and you can. Everything is possible. It's not easy. Obviously, it's not easy, but it's definitely possible. I'm excited over these next couple of weeks to give you guys, you know, to be just po posting up a few video updates about uh, some of the struggles that, you know, that I'm going through, which is struggles that we all go through when we are trying to accomplish something so great. And one, once we proclaim it, suddenly a lot of different obstacles start coming in our way to sort of, you know, veer us off path. And it's very, very important to sort of stay focused. And that's what, that's what these lists, that's what, you know, these milestones are helping me to do. I would love also just a small thing I want to mention. I know I mentioned this in the last video. This, this book, I don't want this to just be my book. I want this to really be our book. And so I'm going to be reaching out to you guys, uh, you know, giving you, listing the different chapters that we have. For example, over this week, I worked on Kindness in the Home, which was my favorite chapter and um, almost finished with Kindness in the Workplace. But I would love for you guys to send me your kindness stories. 
and be able to incorporate them in the book. If you like, you can go to lifevestinside.com forward slash story, and you can actually submit your act of kindness story and select which category that it'll, it'll fit into. But I'll be giving you guys more details as the weeks come. I just wanted to you know, give you an update and let you know um, that I'm here, and I'm so sorry if I haven't been able to respond to everybody. Trust me, it like kills me. This is one of the things I have to hold myself back from doing so I can focus on getting this done. But just know that so much of the inspiration behind this and so much of the reason why I believe that I can do this, and you guys are on here, like seriously, you guys are on here. That's one of the reasons why I believe I can do this because I know that so many of you are in my corner and really believe in this, and I, I want to give you guys something that you can be proud to stand behind, something that you know you, you can you can also believe in in that way, and, and realize that it's something that we all you know that we we all can do. One of the reasons I'm just going to say this here, I listed 20 reasons why I want to achieve this goal. I'm not going to read them all right now. So yeah, but one of the reasons is to inspire others to follow suit and write their own stories, reminding each of us that within our hearts lies the greatest unstory of all. So those of you out there and you all have a great story and you want to share it, just start, make, just start making small little goals for yourself, not too big, and start you know, going at them one at a time. Wishing you luck with all the, the goals that you're setting for yourself, and I'll keep you guys posted on what's going on over here. Thanks so much. Back to another day of writing. Bye.